Hi there, this is Derek from Pacific Coast Auto and here we are in Japan taking a look at this Mitsubishi Delica four-wheel drive minivan. This one was bought from auction and it's going to be sent to the USA. This is a popular car for the USA. I guess popular van for the USA right now because it is a diesel engine, turbo diesel, four-wheel drive and still kind of uh, useful because it's a minivan. I'm a big fan of these and so let's take a look what we got here. Uh, actually, let's go over the engine first because that's what we always do. It just happens that this is a cab over design and so the engine isn't right in my face reminding me to take a look. And so, 2.5 turbo diesel. Engine runs well. It doesn't, it, it shakes a little bit, but uh, that's pretty normal for these engines. The car came to us with a dead battery and uh, we were able to uh, resuscitate the battery. The oil is very black, the coolant looks like it needs to be changed, but these are really reliable engines. Really the only issue that I've seen with them is uh, they leak oil in the valve cover. Pardon me while I put the camera down and the seat down. There we go. Now over to the auction sheet and then exterior, then interior. Okay, so it's a 1991 with 138,562 kilometers. This one's really rare because it has a five-speed manual transmission. Almost all of them are automatics, and the people who have the five speeds tend to not want to sell them because it is a pretty unique vehicle. Five-speed in a minivan with a diesel and four-wheel drive and off-road capabilities. It's pretty awesome. So really lucky to find one with the five-speed. 3.5 is the auction grade with an interior grade D, and I'll show you why later. It is literally the most dirty, dirtiest, pardon me, dirtiest vehicle I've ever seen that we got from auction. So, uh, 137, 562 kilometers. Sales points are alloy wheels, which are the stock ones on this car, and they're not uh, in that great of shape. One of them's dented, actually. Uh, engine is a 4D56, 5-speed manual transmission, no notes here, power steering, power windows. And over to the sales points. So windshield rock chip, interior dirty, and cigarette burn. There are actually two cigarette burns. Let me just show you. One here. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. And another one in the back. And it looks like they've been semi-repaired, sealed up so that they don't rip further. Okay, and it says interior has various yellowing, which I guess we'll show you in a little bit. Battery is dead, but it actually wasn't dead. It was when I came in here, I thought we needed to get a new battery, but it turned out that uh, just putting some new battery fluid in and giving it a charge overnight did it. I don't know how long that battery is going to last, and so might need a new battery when it lands. Okay, so liner comes up, or trim comes up, it says. Let me show you what they mean here. And this is something I haven't seen on the Delicas before. Can you see that? This piece here is off, and this piece here is off. It's on the other side too. Now this is a one piece unit. There are plenty of these in Canada because these were popular cars in Canada. And so you can import one uh, probably used one in pretty good shape from there and fix that problem there. Right door, um, kurai, that's kurui, okay, warui, man I can't read. <laughs> so uh, the opening of the door is not good, it pops open, watch, and the door touches here and that's why it got dented. Looks like the door's not mounted properly. The hinges aren't saggy, the door's mounted improperly, or it could be that this part of the uh, bumper has been uh, pushed for whatever reason. As it looks like the vehicle hasn't been in an accident. I don't know why that would be as it is, but as far as I can see with all of the other uh, panel lines, everything lines up except for that door. And if you look on this side, there's been paint, like there's repaint marks there. So it could be that this door has been replaced. I'm not sure. Anyways, back to this list here. Winter tires on the car. Headrests uh, is missing. That's weird. I see all the head... Oh, just the rear center headrest is missing. 
Okay. In bad writing here. End panel is dented. That's underneath the rear bumper. Underside has surface rust. Audio scratches and dents. No, body scratches and dents and paint fade. The paint fade is not too bad considering the age. And power steering says it makes sounds. It doesn't make sounds for me. It is a little bit notchy. I think change the power steering fluid and you should be fine. Not notchy, pardon me, lumpy which a good change of power steering fluid should help. The Lucas uh, power steering additive is very good for that. Rear tail lights are cracked, paint peeling in the back corner here, and a big a, uh, UA4 dent on this section here with various scratches and dents around the body. But, so they don't have an exterior grade on here. I would probably say it would be a C or so. Anyways, let's go around the vehicle. We've already spent a lot of time going over that sheet because it had a lot of marks. Here's the thing with the Delica is Finding a pristine five speed, you could be waiting months and months and months for them. And so kind of you get what you can find when it comes to the five speeds. I think this one is uh, certainly a car that with some cleanup could be a very nice vehicle. And so it's a two tone, dark green and silver. We're not getting very good lighting right now. Maybe it's just my eyes, but it looks really dark at the moment. And we can barely fit it all into the frame without me going into the park. Okay, so these are leaf suspension. Lift kits are available for these, as are wider fenders. The funny thing about these is that with a wide fender, the sliding door needs to have an extension piece. And so they sell kits for an extension piece to allow this to come out far enough for your wide fenders to uh, fit with the sliding door. This one's a low roof model. There's one with a roof about maybe three or four inches higher. I guess it gives you a little bit more headroom. I, don't I didn't really notice the roof being too low when I was sitting in it. It has these nice mirrors for good visibility. This one here to show you how far you are away from your front bumper. Really cool front bumper guard, projector headlights, offset uh, place for your number plate there. Okay, the wipers are a little bit bad, you can see there. The rear wiper is rusty. Now, something to mention about the rust, it's, it did say on the auction sheet that there's, um, there's me too. There's rust on the underside, surface rust, but it's really not that bad. I got a video detailing it specifically, but I did poke my head under there. It looks to be in really good shape and delicas and rust are a common problem. And so good to see this one super tidy underneath. The only little bits of rust that you can see are something like what you see here. And none of it is structural or damaging the metal that much and so it can be uh, fixed really easily. Here's the peeling paint on the back. Okay, now I don't think the vehicle has driven very much in the last little while. The tires are 16 years old as per the date stamp. They still have like 70% of their life left, but be very careful because old tires can uh, cause headaches. They can split on the inside, even though the outside looks good. And they're a winter tire, and so, unless you're driving all the time in the winter, I recommend changing it anyway. There's some rust on the uh, bits here, and here, and here's the AU4. That's a large scratch, large dent. And this is the biggest body damage on the car. Okay, when it comes to other damage, there are a couple of small dents here, nothing really to complain about. Um, there is a little bit of a damage there. And dent here. Here's the, one of the two cracks. And here's the other. Okay, and I got pictures of all of that. Oh, here's something I didn't get in the pictures. Didn't notice the dent up here. Okay, the super dirty interior. Let's have a look at it. Now, I'm not sure if this car was owned by a serial killer before because it's got a saw blade in the back. And I've never seen a car with a saw blade in the back. And so I'm just assuming that, you know, he's not a lumberjack or anything. He just goes around sawing people. Okay, lock the door, and you can see that there's some splashing of some sort of 
reddish brown stuff. Hmm. Seats are dirty, headliners really dirty. And so the vehicle needs a good clean and it's going to make a lot better of an impression than it does right now. So this one is a captain's chair model. And take a look, the captain's chairs can slide backwards and forwards. They can, of course, do this, and they can spin. And so you can spin them into four different positions. You can put them backwards if you want. You get rear AC and heater. Cigarette lighter and an ashtray back here. You get lots of vents. You can see in the roof there, there's a vent for each person. The curtains in this model aren't power curtains. I believe you can get them with power curtains. They look like they need to be washed. And the back seat is full sliding, forward and backward. Right now it's in the center section. Four speaker system. Hmm. Okay, I really like these vans because you can put your feet up if you don't mind getting your shoes dirty. And here's the driver's position. You can see that really awesome five speed there. And selectable four or two wheel drive in these vans. Front hubs are auto locking hubs. And so you don't have to get out and turn them. That banging sound was the door touching the fender there. Okay, gonna jump in here. Now I did already get a video of the interior here, so I'm not going to spend too much time on it. That's what happens when you lean on the horn. Or, that's the horn test that I did in, on purpose. Okay, this is cool. Just show your inside and outside temperature, how much pitch that you have when you're going over mountains, and how high up you are in the mountains. iPhone dock there. AC. Five speed. Four low, four high, and four and two high, and other things. Power windows work. Super dirty here, but you can store uh, stuff in there. And then you can fold it all the way back to give people in the back cup holders. Kind of cool. Okay, driver's seat looks like it hasn't been washed ever. See, it's really, really dirty. And if you hit it, then it goes poof, and then it's really disgusting, so I'm not going to do it, but. Uh, it just goes to show that a lot of that dirtiness will be able to be sucked out of there pretty easily with an extractor machine like a rug doctor. Okay, so that's going to be the end of the walk around of this low roof L300 Mitsubishi Delica 5 speed star wagon. Turbo diesel. One of the longest names ever. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the video and if you have any questions, please let me know. Thanks a lot for watching and have a nice day.